like shoes and umbrellas gives you an idea of uh, you know like the lives of people in flats and how uh, how their lives are a little hassle all words are very sensitive and i i like the crowd work all the crowd insulation that's really interesting yeah it's overall very sensitive and that feel is there i really like the space and this all works and the space is that insulation which is really working really well uh, yeah it's very interesting so Sudipta's work is the fact that uh, even though you see an entire crowd of people over here, uh, there is an identity. You actually, these people they feel real. Although they are dolls, although they are they they have been made in a certain way, but they feel real, you know? and that is what strikes you the most because it's not just any face. It's not a crowd of faceless people. They have faces. They have identities. There's a backstory to them. uh you you can in certain ways also empathize with with their emotion and their grief that is there and i think one of the reasons why uh this is evident through the work is because of her personal interest in archival material and how she's explored that archival material how she's actually interacted uh, uh, uh with with people who've gone through uh who have who have back stories of refuge of who have back stories of uh, migration forced migration that is per se so that is that is what strikes me the most about the work hi i am bhavna kakkar and i am the director of latitude 28 the gallery that represents dipta das and i am so happy to be collaborating with space studios here Uh, space is actually the place where I first met Sudipta on one of my trips to Baroda, and I've been following her works since many many years now, and been working with her, showing her, exhibiting her in various places. Uh, her journey has been tremendous. Uh, we've seen her grow, you know, with her first experiments that I saw initially, which were with paper and coffee stain and. and uh, and she just moved in from shantiniket in that time so the influence was very obvious and how she's moved away from that and you know and her residency after that which she went to korea for and uh, and how she learned the use of hanji paper uh, mixed with the heritage which she already had from shantiniket and of using the paper pulp and the paper mache techniques and how beautifully she's evolved that you know into these sculptures that we see So I think the the pain, you know, that the anguish that is felt by somebody who leaves his land, you know, who leaves his home, who who leaves it not voluntarily, who is almost thrown out, you know, who is exiled. So that what we see, you know, in this huge refugee crisis all across the world. Also, of course, there is there are those who move for work. there are more those who move for love for better pastures you know so there are those but either ways leaving one's own place is never a happy situation and uh, and in this case it's she's talking about the floods that have swept away her her city her her hometown year after year and and what what the people of that place go through and being a third generation bangladeshi immigrant you know what a family went through when they came from silhet to silchar so all all that that you see i mean you see that in the work and you see how beautifully beautifully sudipta brings it across so i'm very very proud of her new body of work and i hope that everybody gets a chance to see it mm-hmm.